Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my video. First off, I want to thank Rob. He is a friend of mine off Airgun Warriors, and he donated this gun for review. He sent it to me to do a review on, and I'm going to send it back, but I want to thank him, and you guys can thank him too, because uh, he's the reason that you guys are checking out the TC-35. All right, hardcore stats in 30 seconds. Here we go. To 357, which is the same as 9 millimeter, 850 feet per second, 107 foot pounds. It's a four medium or high on the loudness scale, definitely going to be loud. 15 inch barrel, overall length of 35 inches. It's a single shot loader, rifled barrel, no front or rear sight. It has a Weaver Picatinny rail, two stage adjustable trigger, rubber butt plate, suggested for hunting. It's an under lever. Manual safety, PCP, weighs 6 pounds, 480cc bottle on the back right there, and it is shrouded. Alright guys, we're going to do a little slow motion carnage here. I got this camera, 960 frames per second, pointed at this can. I just have to trigger that within 2 seconds. Got this bad boy right here, Air Venturi. We're going to vaporize this can. Dang. I got the can. I knew that would happen. That's what a 9mm does. This time we got a ceramic coffee mug and a can full of water. Not much left of that cup. Now, you won't find me shooting glass, but I'll shoot ceramic because it's not quite as bad. But I never ever shoot glass. I'll pick that up anyway, though. Funny, these cans both land the same spot. Whoa. Oh my. Alright guys, if you're wondering how air gun videos get made, that's how. Anyway, I'm here in the early morning hours. We're going to check out some of this ammo. So, I only get about 150 pieces, so I figure I could go ahead and weigh them. I got a little scale right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and weigh out some of my slugs and pellets. And we'll try to get the most accuracy we can out of this. All right, so these top three right here are actually Air Venturi Big Bore Slugs. Looks like you get 100 in a package, and they're 115 grain. Those are some nasty Nellies, though. They definitely fragment on impact. Now, these ones right here, 
they actually have sort of a pellet shape on the bottom there. Whereas these slugs are just flat. Those are 82 grain HNN Sport Grizzlies. So we're going to shoot those too. These are different packaging, but near as I can tell, they're exactly the same. Got a bunch of those. And then the King Daddy of 357s. These are kind of expensive, pretty much as the same price as a firearm bullet. But these guys are no joke. They will annihilate whatever you shoot them at. So we'll see how accurate they are in this gun. And of course, don't forget our favorite, JSB Exact. I got a ton of these because I bought a 9mm one time and the guy sent me like 15 cans of these. So got plenty of those too. So that's what those look like, just a giant pellet basically. So we're going to try, what's that, four different kinds of ammo? See how they fly. So someday I will have a giant slug collection, but that's what we got for now. Hey, you like that gun, Roxy? All right, guys, I've been rocking a Donnie FL Shogun for a long time. This is a 25 caliber, I believe. So I use it on anything from 177 to 25 caliber. It's one half UNF. Anyway, though, that one half UNF hole is a little too small for a big bore 357. So it's finally time. I went ahead and ordered. An Emperor. So I got the Emperor V3, which is basically the big bore LDC from Donnie FL. I got a free sticker too. That's awesome. Oh, wow. I bought my other Donnie FL used. I didn't even know that they came in these snazzy cases. I got the Emperor. 308 357. You can also get a 45 caliber model of the same one. Looking on the Donny FL website right now, it looks like you can get this Emperor up to 50 caliber and all the way down to 22 caliber and everything in between. And for the ultimate in sound suppression, you can get a extender right there. That's only 60 bucks. If you want to throw this on the like on a 50 caliber and put the extender on there, that's available too. This right here is, is an adapter for the TC35. Okay, so the end of your TC35 shroud is going to come right off like this. There's your little end cap piece. Aluminum. Pretty thick. Very lightweight though. And your replacement. Alright, then when you're ready, you just pull that off. Then you unwrap your big bore LDC. Oh, <laughs> definitely the Shogun's big brother. The Emperor by Donnie FL for air gun use only. Very nice. Wow, so this should uh, quiet down just about anything. All right, I think it's clear that this Gamo TC-35 means business now. All right, beautiful. So that's a whole new gun with that Donnie FL Emperor on there. And I'm really looking forward to using that Emperor on all my 357s. So this was a loud gun, but I am fully confident that that's going to make this backyard friendly. So now I can do some accuracy testing. Let's get this party started. Let's see what the trigger pull is on this guy. So there's two very special power levels on this, low and high. So to get to low, you cock it like that. And then if you want high, that's high power right there. And then you can decock this gun too. Just hold on to this. And 
Now you're decocked. Oh, that was freaking beautiful. I could tell that was very quiet. I'm going to shoot another one. It is a beautiful day today. Completely windless. I have a plethora of 9mm ammo right here we're going to try out. We got the star of the show right here. The Gamo TC-35. Also comes in the TC-45, which is 45 caliber. Going to go ahead and throw that target out there at 25 yards to start us off. And try all these pellets slash slugs. There's my target down there at 25 yards. Right on the money. All right, guys, I'm at a full 250 bar. JSB pellets, here we go. Darn, three of the five were in the same ragged hole. So that's cool. Let's just click over to that main hole. Let's see what happens here. There we go. After five shots, we're down at 200 bar. It's a little harder to hold still, you know, than a 22 or 25. It's got a little bit of kick, so you got to concentrate. You want your crosshairs to be on the target after you hit it. Yeah, it kicks a little bit. It's not recoilless like a lot of your air guns. It's not too bad, though. Boom. Freaking <laughs> annihilated that bullseye. All right, we're sighted in for JSBs. Awesomeness. All right, and so it's still shooting good. Let's just keep hitting bullseyes. I'm totally like anticipating the kick and flinching. Okay, so I think it's time to refill. Yeah, I'm at about 180 bar. Well, actually, let's just shoot one more. Okay, I see the hole down there. All right, so uh, I am going to air up this time. All right, I'm back up at 250. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Look at that's what happens when it hits still right there. All right, guys, I lost the footage, but this day that the day that I did this shooting here at 75 yards, I was shooting out my window here because this gun was so loud I didn't have my Downey FL yet. 
and I was shooting at that plywood right there. Check it out. So I just clicked over my crosshairs on my scope from the bullseye to that hole right there. All right, now after this shot, I went ahead and clicked my crosshairs from the bullseye to this second shot, which I should not have done because if I hadn't, my next shot would have been a bullseye. All right, not bad. If I would have not clicked over, I probably would have got a bullseye because I clicked over to there. Mistake. Anyway, so at least I know I'm going to be on the paper. Now I can shoot at 35 and 50 yards, and at least I'll be hitting the steel backstop. That's good. All right, I'm going to fill this to 240 bar. So after you bleed the pressure from your scuba tank, you're good to just pop your air hose off. Now we're ready to shoot. All right, guys, I just put a super gigantic target, the one from yesterday, 75 yards. Now I'll see what's going on with these 115 grain slugs. Back up at a full 250 bar. Let's see if we can get this sighted in. All right, you guys, obviously the slugs are not very accurate. <laughs> At least those ones aren't. So I'm going to suspend shooting these right here. All right, now we got some nozzlers. Let's try those out and see how they do. First name, Benjamin. Last name, Nozzler. So I start at 250 bar. I'm going to click over to that second shot right there. Oh, hell yeah. Boy, you feel like you're a real sniper when you load these. I'm calling that. We're doing the H and N nine millimeters now.
Now these are grouping, baby. All right, guys, that's 10 shots. I can't really tell where they're going. But those were nice. Those were flying pretty darn nice. H&N Grizzly, 82 grain. All right, here's our 25-yard groups. Definitely not super impressive. Now, these right here, I used about half the pack shooting that group right there. So this group right here cost me about 10 or 12 bucks. The JSBs did okay. Definitely these Air Venturis. Don't want to hunt with those. Now, these H&Ns showed promise. So we're going to take these and shoot these at 35 and 50 yards. We might try some of these other ones. Just for the heck of it, maybe do some five shot groups at 50 and even 100 just to see what happens. But I think H&N Grizzlies are the pellet for me going forward on this one. Okay, we're at just a hair under 250. We're going to go ahead and shoot about 20 JSB pellets. All right, my slow motion camera finally died, I guess. My target camera. You, some of you may remember when I shot it in the broke hack video. Really bad. Oh, yeah. Shoot the hats off these guys. Ooh, hit my camera. Really makes you want to shed the tears. Uh, tears. All right, you guys, my camera's pretty messed up, but it's still recording. It hung on for a while, but it just broke. So anyway, we're not going to get the HD slow motion on this one. By the way, the replacement camera I got for that. See, guys, I'm not going to shoot my cameras anymore. I had a protector there, and this is actually a new camera. That one also broke, but that was under different conditions. But anyway, I'm down to one camera, but that's not going to stop me from blowing up toys. Let's do this. Holy crap, that thing really sends them for a wallop, as I say. I'm trying to see where it hits exactly. By the way, it goes right through that stuff, you guys. One of them lodged in there, but... We'll be able to find these later. Alright, there's a front row seat of the action. Lucky boy. Hopefully you guys can see that. That was 804 feet per second. This is 804 again. Well, I had to go back and check the video to see if my chronograph was working. 804.6. There we go. We're on shot number four now. Wow, this is consistent. So that's a uh, very lucky helicopter. Let's try that again. Not so lucky that time. Hold on, my buddy just got here. How's it going? Oh, I'm doing good, man. You want to get shot? Yes, that sounds awesome. All right, just sit on the plank over there. Right there. Does this look all right, Nate? Yeah, it looks great, dude. All right. Bring it on. All right, dude, I'll put you back together. Is that all you got, dude? Uh, yeah, sorry, dude. I'll try to hit you center mass this time. Please do. Man, that guy's tough. Shot number three, let's do this. 
That one hit him right in the groin. Oh my gosh, you guys. His head bounced off and hit me in the face. Looks like his leg's still there. Let's rebuild him. One to the groin, one center mass, and the dude's still ticking. Darn, we got an error on that one, but we blew him up good that time. It's almost Christmas time. Let's blow up Santa Claus's little house here. He'll be fine. We'll make sure that we don't hit him. Now you guys, I don't want to go too low because I could potentially clip my LCD, you know, if I got ridiculously low. So I'm going to shoot three more. Let me find three more victims. I mean helpers. Okay, that right there is actually a metal version of the Eiffel Tower. Let's hit it. Holy heck, pretty awesome. Thanks for helping out, Bear. Oh yeah, no problem. And Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks. That was nice to say. No problem. By the way, Merry Christmas. Oh, you just said that, but thanks again. And Merry Christmas. I think she still looks just fine. You look great. Thank you, Nate. Does the back of my hair look okay? Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> I'll see you Someone must have left their Christmas tree from last year. Let's shoot it. Hey, hold up there. Can I stand on top of it? Yeah, no problem, dude. All right. No, oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, that was great, man. I want to go by myself. No problem, dude. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, can I go again? Yeah, no problem, dude. <laughs> Guys, I think we got him that time. That's his hat right there. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember me? You shut my legs off. Ah. Oh yeah, dude, how you doing? Well, can you finish me off at least? Yeah, no problem, dude. Why don't you learn to shoot, man? I'm sorry, dude. Let me try that one more time. Stand still this time, dude. All right, I think we got him that hey, time. Hey, can I go again? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. Oh, yeah, and Merry Christmas. He is so cool. He's really in the Christmas spirit. We must be over our shot count by now. This is just so much fun I can't stop. Alright you guys, I still got his hat. You know what that means. He'll be back. That said 700 feet per second right there, so I'm gonna call that. And we're just gonna shoot Batman for fun. And we're going to shoot him with a Nosler. Alright, you guys, we're at 250 bar with a Nosler versus Batman. He better hope I miss.
I better hope I don't since this is like almost a dollar per shot. Freaking annihilated Batman. I shot him right out of his boots. Any more volunteers for the Nosler? Me, I'd like to get shot by a Nosler. Uh, no, we don't shoot baby pigs. Sorry, you're you're way too cute. Let's shoot this giant washer thing and either watch it spin or whatever it's gonna do. All right, this should be interesting. Let's do this one with an Airventuri slug. All right, again, we're at full power. Nosler. Well, look what I found near the scene of the shooting when I was picking up that stuff. There's the tip of the Nosler. Let's hit that washer with an 82 grain grizzly. All right, I got Batman's leg holding it up. That actually dented it, too. A little bit. Finally, JSB. Well, this thing might be getting weaker, but it gave it a pretty good dent right there. So there's some different pellet speeds. All right, now I got some cleaning up to do. All right, so this video is getting a little bit long. I am going to show you real quick my groups at 35 yards and then give you some final thoughts. Don't worry though, I'll be back with part two in a few weeks where we're just going to shoot the crap out of this thing and see what it can do for accuracy out to 100 yards. All right, so the JSPs are going to qualify for 50 yards at 35 yards. There's a quarter right there. I'm going to call this our 10 shot group. Got a couple in those holes and a two or three in there. That's a five to eight centimeter group depending on how you call it. I don't think it's bad, Nate, for uh, 35 yards with a big bore. Oh, well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. So definitely I like it. The thing that really surprised me was that it got 10 to 40 shots per fill. Typically, these big bore hunting guns like that are just under five shots, and then it's time to refill. But this one, getting 10 really good shots, that chronograph, the first 10 shots were really, really close in FPS, so... I think this gun, with a little bit of practice, you could get tighter groups than I got. So I'm going to do a little bit of shooting with this off camera this week. And then in two or three weeks, I'll come out with another video on the TC-35. First impressions, though, it's well balanced. I like it. I don't know if it's quite accurate enough to hunt with, honestly, because you really need to be able to hit whatever you're shooting at in the kill zone. So a lot of times, kill zones are pretty small on some of these critters. So I don't know. Let's see if with a little bit of practice, I can tighten these groups up. I think what I'm definitely going to do is refill every 10 shots, and that'll probably be perfect. Also, the fact that you can do high power and low power shooting, that's pretty cool too. I definitely like that. Also, this shroud right here works great as a handguard. When you grab onto that, your fingers just go right in there. It feels very natural, and of course, it's well balanced and lightweight and a lot of fun to carry around. This thing is super lightweight. I can just like grab it off the bench. Just like walk around with it like this. It's like nothing. So you could totally go traipse through the woods. No problem. Just real quick, you guys, I'm going to weigh this with the LDC and the scope on there. Eight pounds, four ounces. With a scope M MTC light and an LDC. One thing I did forget to mention that I wanted to is I found out how to load it very easily. So right here, if you're on the bench, all you do is sideways like this, cock it, and if you look in there, when it's twisted sideways, your pellet tray is pretty much in the perfect loading position. Then you can close that up. One thing is you got to remember to shove your pellet into the barrel because if you just close that and walk around with it, your pellet's going to be flinging around here. When you go to shoot it, it'll be sideways. So 
So that's one thing that you might want to watch out for. I actually like this safety anti-bear trap thing they got going on here as well. It's very cool. This handguard is just super natural to hold on to, like I said. I like the fact that you can slip this on and off. It's got the nice carbon fiber bottle under there. Also, obviously, it's a very cool, very intimidating looking rifle. You do want to be careful with this gun, though. It's not the kind of thing you can shoot in your backyard. This will go through, like, your neighbor's fence, his neighbor's fence, and right into a person in their backyard. So, definitely don't mess around with this gun. You got to treat it like a firearm because it is as powerful as a firearm. I want to thank Donnie FL for hooking me up with the adapter to get my Emperor on there. Appreciate that. I want to thank all you for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.